Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a really cool process that you can go through to create commercial level content and longer form videos that are really going to stun people and really pass the uncanny test. So this is going to be a combination of a few tools, some of it open source, some of it paid. Now you could do this all through open source, such as WAN 2.2. There is some first and last frame generators that are quite good, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on my WAN 2.2 text to image workflow with my Drift Girl Laura. That's just for the example. And then we're going to use Nano Banana Pro to create the different frames we need for the scene. And then we're going to take that over to Byte Dance for the first and last frame video generator. So at the start, you saw kind of what the end result will be. That was something that I made for fun. It was a little yachty, kind of in a a starter jacket photo shoot, you know, a little fashion photo shoot or something like that. Uh, so I wanted to do another one live for you here. Now, I do use this Laura a lot. I do like my Drift Girl Laura just because, you know, I like cars and I like the aesthetic of the Drift Girl influencer. I think it's kind of cool uh, and this Laura turned out really clean. So, you know, you can use whatever you want. I just like to use this one just because it's fun for me and the results are quite good. Uh, this Laura is obviously available on my Patreon as well. Uh, the Patreon's free to join. There's a free Discord. There is some paid tiers as well if you'd like some premium features, but you can join for free. So first things first, you kind of want to think about what is your subject going to be? What do you want them to do? You need to kind of storyboard it a little bit. We're just going to create a very simple 15 to 30 second video with our starting image. I'm just going to show you how you can do that. So your creativity might be better than mine. Uh, you might have better results, better base images. I really hope it's better than mine. I'm just showing you the process of how I go through it. Now, this is going to be in Comfy UI. You do need a balance as well because Nano Banana Pro does cost money. Uh, it's not much compared to some of the other image generators, but it is necessary to get the angles perfect, I find. You can use WAN uh, and some other multi-angle workflows, but we're just keeping it really simple today, really straightforward. Uh, in theory, if you didn't want to generate your base image through WAN 2.2, you could use any base image and run this on a laptop. So this is very friendly for anyone getting into AI, as long as you have a credit card, because you do need to pay for those credits. So let's see what we got. This is the one I generated before. So pretty simple. You can see my prompt. Nothing crazy. This workflow is great. I'm, I'm quite addicted to it. Um, I think there is better ones out there, but this one is gives me such good results and I'm, I'm so comfortable with it now uh, that I'm, I'm just hooked on it. So you can use whatever you want for your base image, but that's what we're going to use. So we're going to take this image and copy it. So you can see here, this is where I finished off the little Yachty video. So, so this is a Nano Banana Pro workflow that's built into Comfy UI. This is just in the default templates. So you can use whatever you want. You could also just use the Nano Banana website, but for this, we're going to use it in Comfy UI. So as you can see, I've selected Gemini 3 Pro image and the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. And let's crank it up to 2K to give it a better resolution. Okay, so we're going to take the girl we generated from WAN 2.2. So I did a test image here before just to see. Um, we've got about five shots. So what we're going to do is generate the image, then paste that image it generates and then give the next prompt. All right, so you'll kind of see how this works. So this is our base image. So it'll take about up to a minute, and then each image is costing about 13 to 15 cents for Nano Banana Pro. We're going to take that image, save it, okay. Same process, copy, save, new prompt. All right, again, and another peace sign. And this will be our final shot. And then we're going to bring it over to ByteDance, first image to last image. All right, so we have all of our images now. So we're going to move over to the ByteDance workflow. So you can kind of see what I've done here. So that's an example of how it works. You saw the video at the start, but that's just one of the frames. So let's get our first image. So the first image is the original one there. And then the next image is gonna be your end frame. Okay, so a very simple prompt. I don't know how it's gonna work. Let's reduce these to about four seconds per video. So that should give us a 12 second video or so. Now these do cost about 50 cents a run. Uh, so be sure that what you're putting in there is what you want because it is expensive. Okay, so our first shot is done. Let's see how that went. All right, looks pretty good to me. So let's do our next frame. So what you're going to do is reverse this now. So you're going to take 
your last frame, and now you're going to make it your first frame for the next shot. All right, so there's that one, and then let's take it again. So this is going to be a very simple video, just the very basic Instagram style live stream. And you're going to repeat this over and over again. Last frame becomes first, et cetera, et cetera, until you have all your video clips and then you stitch it together in your favorite video editing app. All right, so here's our next frame. So a cute little pose, looks pretty good. There is some blur at the end, so you maybe want to edit that in post. So let's take our frame once again. All right, so last becomes first, and then you go to your next, which should be the final shot. So maybe let's make this one five seconds, just to extend it a little more, because we had, we're gonna have to cut this one short due to the blur. All right, we're all finished. So there is our last frame. So this looks pretty good. I mean, there is some errors. The people in the background are a little bit frozen, but this is just to show you the process, and I wanna see you guys doing way better stuff than me. So I'm going to stitch this together and then throw it on the screen for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I also really appreciate everyone joining my Patreon, even if it's a free member or a supporter. It's so cool to see the community growing and seeing people share ideas and custom workflows in the Discord. It's very fulfilling. So I hope to see you guys there and have a great week.